Listen. We meet again, ladies and gentlemen. We left off previously on the last episode. When we last played, we fell into a patch of what appeared to be cacti. <clears throat> with very tiny thorns. Maybe they're not cactus. I don't know. Is this even earth? Who knows? So we're back again with uh, Deponia. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her Daxon. Well, I'm sure it'll the hell is a Daxon. There wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Is that a you mechanical bull? Six or older to use this device. What? How boring is that? Get on it. Toro! Hey, I said Toro. <laughs> what? I guess I should save, huh? Ah, we'll do that later. What's the worst that could happen? Alright. Hood. Open it. Who locks hoods? Mm, those are trunks that do that. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's dirt. a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Yes. Oh. Oh. That could spell anything. Sure. Open the door. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Naturally, it's locked as well. Well. <laughs> now, in the last couple episodes, uh... You know, there was a lot of uh, on here? not knowing what was going on. So, this is going to be different. I'm going to be solving things left and right. Hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax for the lack of political commitment. Is that so? That's a ridiculous tax. Well, there's a pipe and that handle. This is a tap of a reservoir. Must be water or some such. Yes. Chimney. Oh, I bet, I bet something's going to involve me. Moving that pipe over to that chimney and pouring water into it. I'm just saying. Sounds legit. All right. Let's go to town hall. I mean, clearly that's where it wants me to investigate. Is that a Roomba in the bottom right? It went away. You'll have to rewind the video to see it. Please form a line, people. Draw a, waiting <coughs> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on? It's here? a it's man, a baby. Not jar. A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor's <laughs> not a girl. Decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I exchequer. am responsible for her. <laughs> nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story too. Mine even oh. has a dragon in it. So well, that's move ridiculous. to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. I'm more interested in this hottie. Hey, hey, how you doing over there with that bubblegum? Pretty good with that. The post office will be open o'clock. O'clock. What o'clock? Open o'clock. Oh. Well, I don't know. Hello, How's it Bobby? going, Lottie? You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Yes. Where's the girl? Hmm? Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom. Oh, Is that her name? She's lying really? Around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit. Falls from the sky heavily injured, and immediately <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy! Hussy! <clears throat> How long have you been doing this whole pretending to be a female thing, you amateur? I'll skedaddle. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. What else? I got nothing to say to you people. What's in here? <clears throat> nothing. There's nothing in Let's pull a lever. Dispense, please. It's the gosh. Waiting number. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. That's ridiculous. Almost his lucky number. Wow. 
What's going here? Mayor's office. Why not? Stop right there! Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with gold. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only. So draw a number or bugger off. Calm down, ma'am. Magnets to the post office assembly hall. <clears throat> What the hell is that? Oh, I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. What is that? That's not a human. Look out, this is zombie. Where the hell are you going? Oh. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. What That's the hell Dr. are you? Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Yes, of course. Very funny. Well, as well it's not a joke. Sense of reality <clears throat> doesn't keep me from doing my job. Knock yourself out. There, there. Your acquaintance. I Make shall. Snappy. Arise, woman. Arise. Speak it to me. Love. <laughs> oh, God. What? What? <laughs> what? what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, this guy. At least I guess that she needs rest in order to know for sure she what a character. wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. Oh, right. For further tests, <clears throat> she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, yes. none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! Uh -huh. The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Well, of course it does. Every coffee need to be brewed. Yes, right. But hey, say, not to worry, Doctor Gizmo. I have a plan. Yes. A world of favor and a plan among plans. plans. Rufus, your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except Listen. The mayor granted me a larger file. Did her good? For patient's hmm? histories. Well, <clears throat> I will be on my way. What is this? Fantastic. Balloons. I'll take balloons. Cardboard box. Give me the cardboard box. Where's the that? balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for. Okay. And why my face is on some. What? That's weird. What's going on here, Dr. Strange Love? Dr. Love Strange? I don't remember his name, so I made one up. <clears throat> Can I go in the post office? Stop right there! Stop. Okay. When? But there's no clock there. Okay. 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 I get it. It's closed. Lobo, what the hell is on your head? Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'm Makes sure sense. The trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> <laughs> My wife made them for me. Exactly, the guy who think. made tarps. I'm gone. I'll skid out. What is this? Give me a magnet. Take the magnet. Oh yes, brilliant. Shouldn't the paper fall down? Can't be bothered. Right. Now what? No, I think I'll look around here first. Let's go check this out. Emergency phone. Can you run? No. It's just walking. <clears throat> it's just walking in this game. That's cool. I like it. It's nice and paced. Take your time. I do run around everywhere. Okay. Hello? I want to report a crime. Yeah? Hello? What crime? 
great. Inspector Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Let's go in here and see what's in Wenzel's. Oh, it's Wenzel's house. That son of a... He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh well. boy, I really hope he's home. I doubt that. I Wenzel. doubt all of that. Hey, what? Rufus. Back already? That was <clears throat> really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I <clears throat> almost made it. Unfortunately, Excuse like me. so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. I did. That darn human it actually kindness did. of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By mm. the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Listen, that's my dad's chest, who I don't care about. Nor do I care about its contents. Yeah, how did you open it?